Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the very depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of old, and when the town's site no longer held relics of the past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins. In the Sea of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the Thousand Year Door starts here. Finally! I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on a holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Do you mean... Me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it, and that will only open for a noble and pure heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Ooh. I know if the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands. Mm, Alright, what's the harm? I'll try to open it. Blinding light! Hello, everybody! This is VG Fanatic bringing you a let's play of my all time favorite GameCube game, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door! Alright! Let's get this started! I know you're all wondering. The F is with the video quality. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that there's reasons. Mostly because, for fuck's sake, <laughs> mostly because my capture card's being poop and I can't really use it right now. So I'm just using a camera and a microphone right now. So I apologize for glaring effects that may hurt your eyes and stuff. I will be talking and whatnot. Mostly doing mediocre voice acting and shit to, so you guys don't have to worry about reading and whatnot. And um, these will be uploaded in 10 minute segments due to the fact that the program I'm using can straight upload to YouTube. But it's it, it like doesn't get the memo that like I can upload mo videos that are longer than that. But oh well. So anyway, halfway through and we're gonna get this started. So. Let's see, what do I want my name on here to be? I have the perfect one, only I'm going to use capitals. P. 
Kingus! Let's get this started. Everybody knows everybody. Oh, and if you can't really hear the game, it's because my microphone's kind of weird. It, like, hears me better than it does the TV. So I apologize if you wanted to actually hear the game a little more. Or, like, if it's very faintly coming in, I apologize for that as well. But, hey, you take it or leave it. So I'm just going to play it, so I hope you all don't really mind. This is going to be, like, episode one of three, maybe even five, that I might upload today. I, I'm i not too sure, though. Hey, bro! Check it out! A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. Oh? I'll just read it to you. How's that the sound? Ahem. <clears throat> now, let's see you here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a magical map. Or mystical map. Fuck. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But, since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weather door the map in here with the letter. Check it out. Oh, yeah! It, um... Look a stupid. Fuck. Title sequence! Paper Mario! The Thousand Year to War. Boat. Wee hee! This game... I think it, I believe this is the best Paper Mario out of all of them. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. Now, the reason I think this is the best one out of all of them is because Super Paper Mario was okay. Paper Mario Sticker Star was stupid, and I'm going to leave it at that. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. But, basically, I like the story of Super Paper Mario, but I just, I just didn't like it. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please, 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 God damn, please prepare to disembark. And as for Sticker Star... I was hopeful for it. Hopeful it would return to Paper Mario's roots, but they once again kind of went a little crazy and tried a new thing, and I didn't like it. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, um... You be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do it for the first episode. In the next episode, I'll actually do something. Alright, till then. Peace out.